My name is Terry Huntington. I live in Victoria. <clears throat> I'm against a public-private partnership, uh, especially for management and operation of our sewage treatment project. Today I'm going to talk about a major factor surrounding this issue, and that is control. I have developed a greater concern for the greed that drives the pursuit of control by big business than I have even for big brother government. I have worked on the management side of industry for all my life. For the last one third of my career, I was a consultant to that same industry. I understand companies need profit to keep things going in our system. Profit is one thing, irresponsible exercise of control is something else. <clears throat> Detroit and Oshawa, if they'd shown an iota of responsible leadership in anything other than producing short-term profit, would have scaled down to smaller vehicles 35 years ago. They made bigger vehicles. In the early 1990s, Enron cut off power to some areas in the southwestern US at times and gouged others all the time. This greed-motivated management approach culminated in the banking business just about causing collapse of national economies. I would be surprised if there were many of you who were not affected by that. These are just a couple of examples of corporations that have had control of how things could be done and how they abused that control. This went beyond reasonable profit. It accelerated pollution it required some folk to huddle to stay warm because they could not afford to turn up the heat. It robbed millions of secure retirement by taking away their nest eggs. And now we have water companies trying to control sewage treatment systems. Sewage treatment is often the backdoor access to water distribution. Many of these companies seek the kind of work our sewage treatment system one of the companies seeking this, are or have been in disputes over water and sewage issues in Bolivia, Venezuela, Brazil, India, Tanzania, and closer to home, Michigan, Maine, Georgia, and closer to home, Nova Scotia and Ontario. And there are many others. Some of them have made no secret that they aspire to control water supply worldwide. While it might not seem fair to tar all of them with the same brush, if we lock ourselves into a contract with any of them, we will likely find that fairness is not a factor in their quest for control. This issue, the risk of locking us into a multi-decade contract with this kind of mega corporation, I consider a bigger threat to our independence and our right to control our asset even than big brother government. I believe taxpayers would prefer to deal with and would have easier access to our elected politicians than to mega corporations when problems arise. If we go private with a multi-decade contract, whether we call it a P3, alternative procurement, or anything else, some of you personally, as well as I, will be saddling the next generation with a system they will still be paying for and over which they will have little or no control. I have spent a lifetime trying to make profit for employer and client companies I worked for. For the most part, in my small way, I did not give them reason to complain. But today, on this issue, I say, do not subvert long-term public interest to corporate profit in the management and operation of our system. Do not privatize. Thank, Thank you for you. your attention. Thank you.